Okay, so welcome back. Uh, so today our agenda is very specific, how to apply. So yesterday we just uh, reviewed and tried to understand a couple of structural analysis protocol, how to apply and uh, decision making and all. So uh, who are new today, what I will do is uh, I will arrange one session for them so that we can uh, talk that little bit later. But that is a foundation, right? So uh, today we will start with our real module and that is about Start Pro V8 i SS6 and this SS6 is the new release and V8 i is since last 10 years or more than that like SS, uh, V8 i then SS1, SS2, SS3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And the title is very carefully I have given for you people the foundation to mastery. So foundation means the basics or you can say you cannot avoid those uh, principle or concept that we are going to cover and mastery means very advanced. And this is primarily I have uh, designed for civil structural engineer, geotechnical engineers or uh, if you are studying MTech, primarily this is for you. If you are working engineers also this is for you. That means you can get the scenario how it look like while working or handling projects. That means you will be after one year or maybe one and a half year, any first year student, no. So <coughs> after one year you will be directly deputed for projects and there you will be applying this concept. So you all are well acquainted with theory that all starting from your soil mechanics, starting from your engineering mechanics, the physics, survey, engineering civil drawing, RCC, steel design and last but not the least is very important that is your understanding all the collective effect and that is structural analysis. Applying all the effect, a structural engineer or a civil engineer, what is the primary difference is, most of the, you see, you go to the industry, you see civil engineers with 20 years of experience or maybe 15 years of experience, they are working with structural protocol. But a civil engineer, why is taking that much time, 15 years or 20 years, a structural engineer start from the day one. The difference is the mindset, that is technically if you start your day and plan it from the day one as a structural engineer, you are a structural engineer. This is not the syllabus or course curriculum, it is all about mindset. So a civil engineer also can be treated as a structural engineer, but primarily you have to understand the theory world and the realitical application world where how to apply is important, this is not about a tutorial type or uh, go through this step, this step and apply, uh, apply the load, get the result, it is not like that. So primarily we will be looking today into some primary key points which we have to consider, which we have to consider. So primarily eight different points I am going to reveal today. Those are the working secret and most of the people they neglect it. They think that they are well conversant, well acquainted, they are comfortable with Start Pro, but they miss those points. And we will start our day with those points because those are the foundation and fundamental that you cannot avoid for any project, irrespective of the project. That project may be a G plus 3 or 4 or that may be G plus 30 or 35 or so on. So what are those? that we are going to discuss today. And a small introduction about me, I will not give that much introduction and basically you can follow me through my LinkedIn profile, the same as uh, Facebook, uh, the Pramit007, uh, LinkedIn.com and you can connect to me so that we can have our professional network. Primarily, I will not talk much about myself, but I think, dream and talk what I am talking right now. 
I am not just a professional who love or passionate to teach. I think dream also. What I am uh, teaching today or what I consult, primarily I consult uh, uh, with the industry consultant. So, I will never say if, uh, I am an expert or something. So, you will uh, judge that and industry is uh, giving that uh, grade. So, I will be with you for uh, this uh, couple of odd uh, 50 to 60 hours and we will discover how we can work together. So, these are the eight different points which I was talking about. The first point is what input data to provide. Most of the people they confuse and they try to follow the data book and try to map that and I will discuss little bit more on this point and what is the source of that data which you are interpreting, source. I will talk more about that, just I am uh, highlighting these points and I will talk precisely which point. How to provide that data to the software? Different ways are there, you know for solving one project, four people, I personally I have visited, I saw four approach. I wonder how that can be in four different way. In earthquake analysis or seismic analysis, I have seen going to the desk and scrutinize the PC with the data and I found funny. Why? Because they interpreted in their way. That is something F equal to MA. You cannot change it based on your comfortness. So, what are those? That you have to have a thumb rule. You never change those. And not that my trainer told me in that way, so I will be using no. It is not like that. But most of the people do like that. So, that is basically how to provide that data to the software. That is a thumb rule. I will teach you those thumb rules. And fourth very important point is how to determine if there is a mistake in that typical input data that may be load, that may be material, most of the people what they do, what you do, M25 <coughs> is my grade, what you do, have you investigated the compression test and then you apply or directly most of the people in my domain using and I am using M25, is that M25 or you know? I will talk more precisely about those points, but just uh, a glimpse. So, including understanding the warnings and errors. You know, when you handle any project in Star Pro, most of the people they are happy after getting the result and some animation. No, you have three protocol. One is result, one is warning, one is error. Warning can be avoided, but errors not at all. But can we take some precaution so that we can avoid errors? Absolutely yes. I will teach you how to overcome those. How to determine if the program has used the data correctly? This nobody talks about this. That you gave something and program gave some abrupt result and you are so happy because you got some animation. Understanding the result of the analysis and design that are based on your input data. You see, how can you validate the data? That start program is right. Nobody talks about that. Start gave this result, bending stress this much, you have to obey because start is giving. So what? Start is giving, so what? Each year, two to three times, Bentley, the developer of this software, fixes, releases three to four bog. They have their box, don't be overconfident. So, nobody talks about this. So, understanding the results of the analysis and the design <coughs> that are based on the data. And the seventh point is methods for verifying the correctness of the result. Various methods are there. I will introduce those methods to you, how you can verify absolutely one to one. Apple to apple will compare, will not compare apple to orange. So, once you compare, your virtual or mathematical model inside the start pro to the physical model, maybe physical model is not existing, that is a proposed plan or maybe existing and you are trying to get the data and building another one or maybe extension where you do some revisions or refinement or maybe some future provisions you are adding. So, that depends. At last one is troubleshooting errors. 
most of the people they try to some do some ready made program and train their subconscious at their compatible with iras ignore this fix this or that so let me in go through those points more detail so let us start with this is the very very important which i say is the not shell so what input data to provide most of the people that struggle and they only know boundary condition fix the ground conditions load data is not like that is beyond that will to derive build so what input data to provide primarily depends on so many factors i want from you people some input that what do you think the input data to the start program or it apps program or whatever irrespective of the software program you have to give some input yesterday what i told give the input have the system get the response so there is a communication between this input to response that is your system so what input data to provide how do you know the 100% perfect accurate and result oriented so what do you think your perspective suppose i need to go for a g plus 10 with a occupant of maybe 300 people my input data and those are primarily used for some office it hub or somewhere i am 